A San Marco woman wants the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to conduct an internal investigation into a sergeant who shot and killed her basset hound. According to police reports, the dog that you see here is named Goose and wandered into Sergeant Charles Shiver's backyard, circled his pool, and threatened the officer and the lives of the officer's daughters. Tark Miner joins us now in studio with the story. You know, Ken, according to police reports, Sergeant Shivers and his family were swimming in their pool when the dog entered the yard through a break in the fence. Now, the dog's owner says that the sergeant recently removed a palm tree and that portion of the fence, but never repaired it. She says he didn't have to kill her newly adopted dog. Goose was shot just right behind that little slide ladder. Chelsea Pavis shows us the spot where her basset hound named Goose was shot once in the head by off-duty JSO Sergeant Charles Shivers. And this is a picture of that newly adopted dog who had just moved in with the family a few weeks ago. Pavish can't get over the manner in which her dog died. It just felt like it wasn't real. Um, I think if a dog dies of old age or if he's sick, um, it's a much different experience. So I'm still wrapping my mind around the way he died. According to police reports, Goose wandered into Sergeant Shivers' yard while he, his wife, and seven and three year old daughter were near the pool. Police say Shiver first tried to run the dog off with a rake, but says Goose would not back down and kept circling the pool, barking with aggression. After advising his kids to stay in the pool, Sergeant Shivers went into his house to retrieve his personal handgun. But when he returned, he lost his balance and slipped in soft dirt. According to police reports, that's when he says Goose lunged at him. So he fired one shot, hitting the Basset Hound in the head. I don't believe that he had ever even tried to be aggressive. Um, if Goose was scared, he would have ran away. Um, but I think the fact that he had time to go back inside and grab a gun, to come back outside, you know, when he's telling me that he feared for his family but left his family outside, I just think the story just doesn't add up. We knocked on Sergeant Shiver's door to get his side of the story, but no one answered. News for Jacks later received an email from the sheriff's office. They requested that all media not approach the property on Landon Avenue because Sergeant Shivers' nanny is feeling unsafe and uncomfortable. Pavish says she feels as if it's her against the police department, and she's worried about the safety of her other pets. It's been awful. I don't. I can't even let my other dog in the backyard now. I don't want to. Um, I'm just scared that it could happen again, um, and essentially for no reason. That just makes it worse. A spokesperson for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says under Florida law, a registered gun owner has the right to kill an animal if they fear that their life is in danger. But Pavis says she wants an internal investigation because she does not believe that her dog was in any way threatening the officer. Kent? All right, thank you, Tarek.